evening. So, um, here we are on a Tuesday night. Um, another uh, another session just about to get underway. A couple of people online. Hello. So, um, I was uh, thinking about uh, a couple of things that we've done over the past couple of weeks. And really, um, I keep mentioning um, distraction divers and non-distraction divers and thought I'd go into a little bit more detail about it and then we can do uh, some breath hold activities um, based on 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 what we we do now I do uh, run um, some sessions where we play with the different ideas of distraction and um, non-distraction uh, and we go into a little bit more detail about about it. Um, but bear in mind, um, you don't need to know whether you're a distraction diver or a non-distraction diver. Um, you don't need to know this this stuff. But if you do know it, it will make you um, not better diver, but able to understand your dives and therefore. Um, put into place things that will help you so your dives will be better okay now <clears throat> we're going to talk about whether people really like um, things going on and distracting them from the dive from the breath hold or whether they're people who are non-distraction divers that they don't want things going on in around them to distract them from the dive <clears throat> and um personally uh i have uh, reservations about seminars with world champions in any sport really uh, because the cat again as soon as I start the cat comes in um, because world champions may be good coaches they may be there's no reason why they wouldn't be um, but they became world champions using a single um, technique that works for them and it's very interesting to listen to what they say but um, about how they did it it might give you some ideas but uh, for a seminar for a teaching scenario it's not necessarily uh, gonna work for you so and this is ultra um, uh, ultra this is really uh, highlighted when we're talking about distraction and non-distraction um, and what people like when they hold their breath um, because um, some of the static world records uh, I was working with uh, Stefan Misfood when he was um, going for a world record he actually got a French record he didn't get the world record in, in the end he was close um, and it was I don't know maybe eight minutes or whatever the world record he was going for so he held his breath uh, and it was in a competition scenario so there's two other people and they went to you know three four minutes and they came up and then he carried on and at six minutes um he was working with pierre Foller and uh, pierre's brother uh, this was in nice in a competition in in C in nice uh, being held by sepa and he had already prepared pierre to get the audience going the crowd i mean there was only maybe Thirty people there, but there was it was he was like shouting at us and screaming and everybody was like, "Ah, oh, come on, come on, you can do it!" And for the last minute, he had his hand over his head, so he had his face in the water, and he had his hand over his head, and he was like kind of doing this, and and this is what he wanted, this is what he enjoyed having in the last minute of his of his his, his record. Uh, attempt and he came up and he was clean and and it is is whatever but on the flip side we had uh i was um herbert's coach for his world record a few years later and and so he was about i was thinking it was about nine and a half it was, it, was, it was going for and he just he just said don't touch me and we, i was working with him for for a couple of weeks before it and it was the most boring job in the world <laughs> he said okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna do a series of breath holds and he just did long breath holds and he said just don't touch me for six minutes just don't touch me for six minutes so he'd hold his breath i'd start a stopwatch 
sit there doing nothing for six minutes and then all I had to do was move him to the wall he didn't want to be touched didn't want to be nothing nothing at all do not interrupt his dive move him if I have to if he's floating off the other side of the pool so that he's in the shallow side of the side and come up and that's it that was it um, so you've got the two different approaches so if you were to speak to uh, Stefan he'd, he'd tell you uh, you know this is what he wants this is what he wants to talk to Herbert he'd tell you completely the opposite and what works for you who knows so it's important you find out which works for you okay so let's go in straight into it straight into it okay so you we call um i are we as a generalization I, I i keep saying distraction and let's go back in fact let's go back so as a generalization i say you're either a distraction diver and a non-distraction diver and this is uh, what we use in the pool sessions. So if you just like swimming a length with nothing going on, and that's what you enjoy, okay, then you're a non-distraction diver. If you like playing torpedo and things happening out of your control and you have to look around and you enjoy that, that means you're a distraction diver, okay? But it's a little bit more subtle than that, okay? Um, you're going to be um, uh, either a distraction diver um and then we're going to look at different types of distractions that you like, or a visual or internal uh, uh, diver. Okay, so distraction, non-distraction, or distraction visualization, external, internal. Okay, or a sleeper. Okay, there, there are your three three options. Okay, now if you're a sleeper, that's it. That's the only information you've got. You, you're a sleeper. Now. You, if you know which of these you you are, you know how to set up the dives on competition day. The day that you're doing the big photo shoot, the day you're doing the, the, the you know the, the thing you want to do, the aim, your objective, where you're getting to, you can set up that dive to be how you want it to be. Okay, if you know which of these you are. Okay, but if you're um, if you're training for it, you should also seriously train what you don't like okay so if you don't like noise all around you then train with noise around you but set up the competition day with no noise okay? because on competition day on the day on performance day whatever whatever the reason objective dive you're doing when you get there if it's perfectly silent and you love perfectly silent that's brilliant but it's unlikely to be perfectly silent. It's probably going to have little noise out of your control. Somebody opens a door, somebody bangs a door, somebody drops something. You can't control that. Now, if you've been practicing perfect silence every single time that you dive, and then you go and do your, uh, you know, the dive you've been training for, the photo shoot or whatever, and somebody drops something and it makes a loud noise, you're going to be totally put off. So train with not insane amounts of noise, but, you know, distractions and noises going on and learn to oh, that's fine that's fine that's fine and then on the performance day it's not going to be that noisy it's going to be quieter than that and then already you're like oh well at least it's not going to be as noisy as it was last week and you'll see all the countdowns i do i always do countdowns wrong i it's really it's getting quite tough now but i try and do countdowns wrong i won't count perfect seconds because you never know on competition day it may not be perfect. And if you're used to everything being absolutely spot on, and then the timing goes wrong on competition day, it's going to put you off completely. Okay? And let me tell you a little story about that. As the World Championships uh, with coaching Herbert to um, 2006, and he was going for 111 metres um, constant weight. And my timing was as a coach was just spot on i had everything written out on a waterproof paper damn and this is what he wanted this is what he needed this is what had to happen and we went through every stage and we got onto the final rope and i said one minute to top and then a call came over to tanoi three minutes to top now we had a working relationship we'd been working together for for you know months and months and months for this he trusted me he went marcus has got it right i'm going with marcus because Marcus is my coach. And he went and he dived and he got the world record. They had made a mistake. Now, if we hadn't been working together, if he hadn't trusted me, he could have been going, he could have lifted his head up, well, what's, what's going on? Who's, who's, who's right? What's going on? What, what time am I going on? And they had made a mistake. Okay? At the world championships, 
okay? They had made a mistake. And it's actually, they didn't have a camera on him. Uh, and luckily there was a camera pointing in a different direction that got him in frame. But that's not the point. The point is, even at the World Championships, with a world record, with all the organisation of IADA, there can still be mistakes. So practice with a little bit of stuff going on around you. Or if you like stuff going wrong around, around you, practice in complete silence. Because on competition day, performance day, you don't quite know what's going to happen. But if you practiced with it, you're fine. With it. Okay, so that's beside the point. Okay, so let's go back to where we are. So distraction divers. These are people who love, uh, who like things um, going on outside their control. Okay, external distractions. Now, these can be near or far, ordered or random. Okay, so. Uh, they can be, for instance, a near would be if they're swimming a dynamic and you see the, the tiles going over you, okay, in front of your face, okay, so that would be near and uh, it would be ordered because you know that they're going tick, 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 okay. Um, external far would be maybe music being played uh, out, outside. Um, so sometimes we put speakers underwater during sessions and we play some music. Um, uh, Loic used to like doing dynamics with um, music underwater at uh, uh, competitions. Um, or rather, when he ran competitions, he liked playing music during dynamics. And again, this would, depending on the music, would probably be ordered um, external far. Okay, If it's ambient, just kind of music with no, no, uh, no rhythm to it, then it could be random internal okay or visualization divers they like to close their eyes and, and and kind of get distracted internally okay and and again they can be near or far uh, and and there are other words for this uh, we use the words near or far but there's other words um, so it could be um, uh, uh, something related to the dive so in internal near would be counting your fin kicks Okay, in my case, I just counted the pools. That's all I did. I didn't care about the diet depth or anything. I was just counting those pools as I was going down. Okay. Uh, or far, it could be you're just letting your mind drift off um, and thinking about gardening. Okay, when you're doing static, you may feel, think about airplanes or something completely different. And again, these can be ordered or these can be random. Okay, so my, my pools were uh, internal, um, near and ordered okay because there was a counting okay or okay so you're either an internal uh, or an external driver or a sleeper now a sleeper is somebody who literally turns their brain off click just blank okay now this is kind of what everybody wants to, to have this is the ideal if you've got the ability to turn off okay that's the ideal for free diving Okay, but you need the ability to turn off. Okay, now some people who are naturally sleepers, this is a problem because they've got to have an external kick to wake them up. Okay, um, so you need to know if you're a sleeper or not. And if you're a sleeper, then you need to put into place things that will kind of kick you back to kind of make you realize where you are. And you literally, they, these people, they literally fall asleep as they're holding their breath underwater. Brilliant. And we need this because if we're, and this is why one of the games we play uh, torpedo doubles, torpedo triples, um, we're learning that skill of turning the brain off and sleeping. So we'll be swimming along and uh, we throw the torpedo. As soon as we throw the torpedo, sleep. And then we look, wake up, look around. Oh, no, torpedo's not back. Sleep. Wake up, look at, oh, it's a torpedo ground. And use this for um, for uh, uh, photography. I use it all the time. If it's a deep dive and I've got to take a photo, I will set everything up, dive down, sleep. I'm just sleeping. I don't care what the camera's doing. I don't care. I'm just sinking either on a sled or swimming or pulling or whatever I'm doing. I'm just sleeping, 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 sleeping. I don't want to think about anything. I don't care about anything. Either the camera's on or off. It's too late. Don't, I don't care. And then get to the bottom, poof, awake. Do the filming, do the photo, whatever. And then... As soon as the dive's finished, as soon as I call it, or the, the models call it, or whatever, or jump, sleep. Just come back up, either pull in or swim in or sled, whatever it is, sleep. Okay. Um, 
and that that's what we we want to kind of have that skill okay but you may be naturally a sleeper in which case you need the opposite uh, which is something that kicks you awake a reason to kind of look around okay so hopefully that gives you uh, a little bit more of an idea so what I'm going to suggest you do is um, if you do a series of um, uh, lazy tables okay you can do a couple of lazy tables in a day because they're, they're they're lazy they're soft okay so you could do one in the morning one in the afternoon but if you're doing this exercise you could do you know three or four in a day okay if, if you're working from home you just take some time out relax do a lazy do it four times and each time, draw up a, a little graph and, and write out uh, you know, which you're going to do. So the first one is an external near ordered distraction. Okay, so uh, and then the next, the first one will be that. Second one will be external near random. And then external far ordered, external far random. <laughs> okay, you get the message. Okay, so uh, there's um, uh, whatever 12 is there, 12 different variations uh, of, of those. Uh, two, four, uh, eight, 16. So 16 variations. So over, over four days or five days, you can get through those and just try them out. Okay, and if you, um, what I'll do, I'll put in the comments when I put this up live about. Um, uh, some ideas about each of those okay sleeper it's hard to do dry unless unless you have some sort of um uh, computer uh, countdown something that and kind of you try and sleep and it, it wakes you up and you have to press a button but it's too complicated it's easy just to leave that to the pool sessions okay so um hopefully everybody's kind of got that as an idea um i say i'll put up some ideas for each of the 16 variations in the comments after we finish this um yeah that's it so uh as, and no nobody's got any questions uh if you put up a question i'll see it now um there's a 10 second delay so you can put up some questions now if you want and i shall answer them live but while I'm waiting for those to come through they have, I'm going to explain what we're going to do next. We're going to do a series of holds. We're going to do uh, four breath holds. Now you've got a choice of a minute breath hold, a uh, minute and a half, or two minutes. Okay, So I'm not going to give times. I'm going to give uh, one, two, three. So uh, the first divers, when, I, when you're in holding your breath, I say the first divers can start breathing now. Second divers breathe now. Third divers. And the reason is, if you're uh, doing the two minutes uh, breath holds, you probably don't want to be told, okay, if you're holding your breath for a minute, start breathing now, because then you know it's a minute. Okay. And I know I've just told you it's one, two, three, but it's just one step away that it, it, um, you have to think about it, okay? And it'll be interesting to know whether some, whether you can kind of let this information go, or if you click on, oh, Marcus said the first diver, that's a minute. Or whether you just go, oh, Marcus said something, I'm not the first diver, I'm the second diver. Okay, so that would be interesting to know whether you do that or not. Um, okay, so there's gonna be four breath holds and uh, each of them will be one minute, uh, one and a half minutes, and then two minutes. Okay, uh, it won't be much of a time between them, so pick something uh, that's kind of soft and easy for you. Um, in fact, should we just make it a minute and a minute and a half? Should we just do, do that? Okay, yeah, so we'll do that, because I'm going to play with you, I'm going to mess with your head while you're doing these. Okay, so... Um, so just a minute, either a minute or a minute and a half. So the first divers and second divers, not much uh, turnaround, and then do the second hold, third hold, fourth hold. Okay, so eyes closed, push your bum back into your seat, sit up a nice and tall. <clears throat> Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, nice and soft. Drop your shoulders, elbows heavy. And breathing in very softly. Control the breath. And breathe out, dropping the shoulders nice and soft. Remember, silk and thread make that breath 
super super fine like a silken breath silken thread and everybody breathe out breathe out breathe out and breathing in two three seeing the numbers four fill in the belly five and breathing out two three four five pulling the belly back six seven eight nine ten three candle blows <laughs> deep soft breath in and hold drop the shoulders drop the elbows and soft and if you don't make the minute it doesn't matter stop early just listen to my words keep your eyes closed but try and relax the neck so the head might move forward just a tiny bit keep your eyes gently shut gazing through your eyelids the first divers are slowly breathing out now breathing out breathing out breathing out and recovery breaths And the second two divers are oh, people doing a minute and a half. Everybody else who's breathing out, breathing out, breathing out. And deep breath in. <sighs> Keep your eyes closed. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so in your mind's eye, just rate that breath hold uh, between 1 and 10 easy to hard okay now it doesn't matter if you made a minute or a minute and a half doesn't matter if you um didn't make a minute you know you roughly know whether you did you know uh, you were nearly there to a minute or not nearly there in a minute doesn't matter which but you know okay so rate it how hard it was just in your mind's eye one to ten ten being super difficult which it shouldn't have been because these are soft holds Okay, it should never be super difficult. Or one, like, did I hold my breath? Okay, so we're going to do the second breath hold now. So breathing out, nice and softly, dropping the shoulders, elbows heavy, nice and soft. Breathing, 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 like a silken thread. And then everybody breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, and breathing in two three four fill in the belly five and breathing out dropping the shoulders elbows heavy two three four five six seven pull in the belly back eight nine ten three candle blows <sighs> deep soft breath in and
closed. <gasps> so that was the second breath hold. That was the quiet music breath hold. So rate it again between 1 and 10. 1 being, did I hold my breath? To 10, super difficult. None of these should be super difficult, so it shouldn't be a 10. It shouldn't be anywhere near 10. And then get yourself back, dropping your shoulders, elbows heavy, nice and straight back. You can put your bum back into the back of the seat again if you want to. And everybody... Bring yourself back to that nice, soft breath. In through the nose, out through the nose, no pause at the top or the bottom. And breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. And breathe in, two, three, four. Fill in the belly, five. And breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. Pull in the belly back. Eight, nine, ten. Three candle blows. <sighs> Deep, soft breath in. And hold. I'm going to do a really lazy bastard's version now. Allow the chin to drop just ever so slightly. Soften the shoulders, elbows heavy. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we on? breaths <sighs> keep your eyes closed nice and soft so this is the last hold oh sorry that was the hold three so again rate hold three which was um, the pop music was it one which was did I hold my breath to ten super hard and just Relax for a sec. Get your breathing back under control. Okay, and then this is the last hold. So, breathing in and out through the nose. Very soft. And breathing out, breathing out. Breathing out and breathing in, two, three, four, fill in the belly, five, and breathing out, dropping the shoulders, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three candle blows. <sighs> Deep, soft breath in. And hold. Once more. 
eyes closed, relaxed, breathing. And again, that was the heavy hold. And rate that between 1 and 10. Rub your hands together in front of you. Cover your eyes. Slowly open your eyes behind your hands. Slowly take your hands away. Ooh. And there you go. So that's four breath holds, one with silence, uh, one with an obviously progressively heavier music. Rate the last one, uh, last hold, between one and uh, ten. And please uh, let me know in the comments uh, what your numbers were. So, uh, yeah, let me know which, which you enjoyed. And hopefully this will tell you, give you an idea of whether you like something to really take your mind off your breath hold or if you really didn't like it at all. Um, just let me know and, and let yourself know. That's more important that you know now. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that. And we will see you uh, tomorrow night. Any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, thank you very much. Ciao, ciao. Bye.